we sometimes lose our way. But I am never lost. I feel this way because. Exhaust breath. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know what time it is? Yeah, I know what You know what time it is? You're four minutes late on a I... television network time. It's at three thousand dollars per minute. That's right. three right. times I'm sorry. seven. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Six thousand. Come on, let's just forget it. It won't happen again. Oh, sure. We'll get on with the show. All sure, right. he says, I'm let's sorry. forget I, it. I, I tried. Let's to forget it. it. Nothing more than fill her up and let's forget it. No, no. There's people out here waiting. What are you doing? I'm... The only thing that would excite you is if you saw a motorcycle wearing a two-peak bikini. Not Tommy. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> come on, everybody. Forget it. We've got show to, we've got dirt to discover on this show. Who knows? Maybe Dickie. Maybe jumping over hills will help in the war. Tommy, you gotta have You're some fun sometime. Liberal. You can't be serious all the time. You have fun That's all the fun, time. Yeah. You and your dummy little kids jumping over the thing. You might even win the Nobel Prize for handlebars. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> handlebars. That's very funny, Tommy. Yeah. My buddies, as you so flippantly call them, happen to be some of the, the, the greatest race drivers in the entire country. There's Parnelli Jones and Danny, Dan Gurney, there's Richie Ginther, Don Garlett, Sweet Savage, Don Perdone, and myself. And we enjoy what we do. You... That's right. And just because you didn't learn how to ride a bike until you were 22 years old, That's... and now you still got training wheels on a bike, you don't make fun of my <laughs> racing drivers and my and my motorcycles. Do you understand? Listen, Piston Nose. <laughs> Tommy, don't take your failures out on me. If I wanted to ride, you probably don't think I could ride. If I wanted I know to ride, if I ride. took the time, I could just climb on this motorcycle, make you look silly and embarrass all your little kids that ride around oh, on these oh, putt-putts. Oh, I oh. ride the big bikes. I could ride this 
circles around you without ever trying because I'm Mr. Coordination. Oh, you think so? <laughs> you think you're Mr. In fact, just get off the bike and I'll show you. Get off! Are you kidding? This is my new bike. Oh, get off. It's a kiddie's thing. Be nuts. Any, no, neither time. Any... You be careful with it. Tell me, Okay, ride. go ahead. You want to see some fancy yeah. riding? Go ahead. How do you start it? <laughs> There's a little lever here. Now, put your foot on the lever. Now, kick back smartly. City in Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Richard Smothers. man-made objects whirling in outer space. Seeing you in summer I never would go The monetary unit in Albania is the lek. Your hair streaked with sunlight May still cannot penetrate Vaseline Your lips <laughs> red as flame Columbus discovered Cuba Your face Luster. Half of all Americans over 55 have lost all their teeth. That is <laughs> In the state of Alabama, girls of 14 need the consent of their parents to marry, unless they have been married before. <laughs> but if I'd ever leave you... Prince Edward of Wales was the first man to wear a crease in his trousers. How could it be in autumn? Eldridge Cleaver is still free. How I'd leave in autumn. I never would know. John Wayne's real name is Marion. <laughs> I see how you sparkle. As of this date, no Cuban aircraft has been hijacked to Miami. If you hold your breath and count to 100, your head will touch the floor behind you. There were more newsmen in injured at the Democratic Convention in Chicago than there were in the entire Vietnamese War. And could I leave you running merrily through the snow? Last year, the number one best-selling toy was Instant Insanity. Or on a winter <laughs> evening when you catch the fire's glow. In 40 states of the Union, bigamy is not grounds for divorce. If ever I would leave In springtime. It is impossible to tell whether or not a sea elephant is pregnant. <laughs> in spring, I'm bewitched by you so. Oh, no, not in springtime. There are over 22 million people living in this country under poverty conditions. Summer, winter, or fall. Two million six hundred thousand dollars was spent on President Nixon's inauguration. Oh, no, never could I leave you. 
There are more toilets in Disneyland than there are in the entire country of Latvia. program designed to keep you above what's happening. Join us as we share a little tea with Goldie. Hi again, and glad of it. <laughs> well, ladies, you've done it again. After last week's show where we discussed leftovers, I got so many hints from you ladies concerning leftovers that I just have to share a few of them with you so you can dig just where a few of you are really at. For instance, about 30 of you ladies got rid of those troublesome leftovers in exactly the same way. And I want to thank all of you ladies for mailing them to me. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> we'll eat that later. <laughs> Here's another far out idea. This one comes from Mrs. Cleo Flapner of Egg, Ontario. And she writes, Dear Goldie, I got rid of my troublesome leftovers by gift wrapping them in a brightly colored wrapping paper and then leaving them in an unlocked car in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Mrs. Flapner. Well, let's get settled down again. <laughs> get down to business and talk about something that's very near and dear to all our hearts. And of course, ladies, I'm talking about our faces. You know, our faces are located in a very strategic position on our bodies. They're right up front and on top, directly connected to the head. And we all know how important our heads are. <laughs> and if you don't, I'm sure all the heads do. <laughs> so. Let's be thankful for having our faces on our heads, and let's honor them and celebrate them. And what better way to celebrate them than to decorate them? Now, I know that a lot of you ladies and a few of you guys paint your faces, but I'm not talking about basic street makeup. I'm talking about super decorations, designs that express you. For example, think how much fun it would be if you went to a PTA meeting wearing one of those. Imagine what the principal would think of you. <laughs> It'd be great. And you know, you can use all of your regular makeup to make these designs, like lipstick. And ladies, speaking of lipstick, did you ever stop and think about where that stuff winds up? Well, it doesn't fall off on the floor. Most of it, ladies, about 12 tubes per year per lady, you end up eating. Did you ever think of that? So instead of having it a little at a time, why not just put it in a casserole and eat it all at once? <laughs> or better yet, next time you drive the kids to school, you can just paint a racing stripe down your face like that. Isn't that great? Hot Rod Mama's on the road again. <laughs> Ladies, you know, a smile is always good for a laugh. So the next time you're feeling really down and out of sorts and blue, well, just paint one on. Then when you look in the mirror, your whole attitude will change. You know, ladies, all those groovy new eyeshadows and shades, they're great to help change your face. And why not change your face? I mean, after all, you wake up every morning, you get out of bed, you brush your teeth, you know, you go to the mirror, and what do you see? You see the same old face. So why not change it beyond recognition so that the next time you look in your mirror, what are you going to see? You're going to say, hi, new person. Who are you? Want to fool around? <laughs> Yourselves. Have fun with your husbands. Just paint one on. <laughs> this is Goldie O'Keefe saying, victory through vegetables. Paint yourself happy in peace. I'm 
I'm standing with two very good friends of mine. You might not recognize him, and then again, you might. This is Roy Crawl and Jackie Kane. They're very good friends of Dickie and myself because we worked with them quite a few years ago. Uh, when was it? How it was long about ago 1962, was it? 1961. Something like that. 1961. We worked in Indianapolis at a club with them, and we heard every, every show they did, and we became big fans. We know all the records, and uh, it's an art form that is not done too, too often now, and they do it beautifully, jazz singing. Uh, the new album that they have now is on, I forget what label? It's Capitol. Capital, yeah. It's a Capitol record, and it's entitled Grass. And it's not to be confused with your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> a little esoteric stuff. Uh, uh, Roy, Jackie, I'd, I know all of your things, and this is true, because we sat through show after show and all their right. albums that they've done previously, and I know, you know, vocally, all the things you've done, because I was, before, you know, I became what I am, I was involved in jazz, I had a lot of soul and stuff. <laughs> it yeah, faded you know, a little bit, repertoire. you know, yes. So do, let's do something. Pick out any song, because I really do know all of this stuff. You sure? I, I said I, I admire okay, both of you. Give it a try. Here's one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just a second. I, I really know them. I mean, I don't want to do one of the things that's not that difficult, because people don't think that I know jazz at all, see? So pick out something that's really... It really swings, really heavy, Something fast, harder? jazz, Something difficult. Something harder than that? Harder than that because I know, I know all this stuff. I'm How not, about, I'm, uh, why don't we do Andre Previn sing me an abstract song? Oh, That's a kind of a trick. And Andy's? Andy's? Uh, yeah, Andy, Andy, Previn. Andy, Andy Previn's number, <laughs> sing me an abstract song? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> one, two, two, two. Sing me a song. Sing me a song. Sing me a song. Both Dickie and I know all of your songs backwards. Uh, Hey, Dick, come, come here. Yeah. Uh, hey, we're sounding good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was really getting into Hi. it. Uh, <laughs> there's a song, there's a song. You know all, the, you know all their songs. Oh, I love their stuff. Remember you know, we'd, we'd listen always listen to them. We'd go sit there. And you'd, yeah. you'd fall off the bar still. You'd be drunk as a skunk. Yeah. That, that was me. That was my standing. Oh, standing. <laughs> They're just yeah. building an image. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> sing. There's a song we're going to sing that you know very, very well by, by Andy. You, you know. mean you want me to sing? With yeah. You mean Andy, Andy Previn. Andy Previn and Dory? Sure, yeah. join us. Oh, they say right such yeah. nice stuff. I'd Abstract song. Go ahead. We'll all sing it together. Sing a song. Sing a song. What you call, what you call. Nothing at all. Sing a song. Sing me a song, sing a song about meaning a word, meaning a word, something absurd, sing a song about touching to me. Jackson Pollock really slays me. Whistler's mother doesn't face me. Sing me a song, sing a song about what would you call, what would you call, not at all, sing a song about touching to me. Shine. 
It's the word love. In the beginning, I misunderstood. But now I've got it, the word is good. Say the word and you'll be free. Say the word and be like me. Say the word I'm thinking of. Have you heard the word is love? It's so fine, it's sunshine, it's the word love. Everywhere I go, I know I hear it said. In the good and the bad books that I have read Say the word Say the word Say the word Say the word Occasionally a man comes along who is a motivating force in an entire area of music. Our next guest is a great singer, a great actor, and a great man, Mr. Burl Ives. Come on, close your eyes. Close the door. You don't have to worry anymore. Cause I'll be your baby tonight Shut the light Shut the shade You don't have to be afraid Cause I'll Well, the mockingbird's gonna sing away And we're gonna forget it The big black moons are gonna shine like a spoon But we're gonna let it And you won't forget it Kick your shoes off Do not fear Do not fear Just bring that bottle Right over here Then I'll Well, the mockingbirds are gonna sing away And we're gonna forget it The big fat moon is gonna shine like a spoon But we're gonna let it And you won't forget it Get your shoes off Do not fear Just bring that bottle Right over here And I
That was really great. That's a Dylan song. You sing it as well as anybody. Oh, he sang again. it wonderfully, Tommy. And, Burl, you have such a warm, wonderful, beautiful voice. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, beautiful. I'm glad you liked it. Huh? Liked it. I got to tell you, it wasn't even like it was. I loved it, and we don't want to embarrass you or anything like that. But it's an honor and a privilege in the greatest, highest sense as we wander life's rugged road to have you on our show. Yeah, Tommy's absolutely right. I concur. And you're the master. Yeah. If there's ever a master, you're the yeah, master. Yeah, you've influenced our careers. We've modeled our life after you, and you're one in a million. Nay, as I spake. You're not one in a million, but one in a trillion as you wonder. That's absolutely right, Tommy. There's a lot of folk singers. But around. there's only one Burl Ives. Absolutely. Well, but now, look, just a minute, fellas. You know, I'm just an old hillbilly a folk singer. That's all. Uh, wow, did you hear that? I heard it, Dick. Your great uh, humbleness is only matched by your great talent, Burl. Uh, you're, you're, you're a great... You're a fantastic, humble person, too. Mr. Ives, you're a great towering god in the folk singing heaven of the world. It's a great day of dance and song. Is I in the great... in the sky... In the great sky up there where people sing and pick and songs, that's where you are because you're, right. a, you're and an actual god. And the, I speak the... for both of us, Burl. And I, the show is yours. Anything you're, you want you're tonight right. is, you're... is yours. Is there anything you want? Yes. What? Yes, let's, let's all do a song together. Then you can watch me walk on water. <laughs> said you were leaving tomorrow That today was our last day I said there'd be no sorrow That I'd laugh when you walked away But a little bit of tear let me down Spoiled my act as a clown I had it made up not to make a proud But a little bit of tear Said I'd laugh when you left me Full of funny as you went out the door That I'd have another one waiting And I'd wave goodbye as you go But a little bit of fear let me down Spoiled my act as a clown I had it made up not to make a frown Everything went like I planned it And I really put on quite a show In my heart I felt I could stand it Till you walked with your grip through the door Then a little bit of tear let me down Spoiled my act as a clown I had it made up not to make a frown Oh, but a little bit of tear let me down a little bit of tear let me down A little bit of tear let me down When I go a courtin', I go on the train When I go to marry, I'll marry Liza Jane Hey! Oh, Liza Poor Oh, Liza Jane, oh, Liza poor gal, she got on the train. The train was bound for Cleveland, that's where we were to wed. But when we got to Cleveland, poor oh, Liza Jane was dead. Poor girl! Oh, Liza poor gal, oh, Liza Jane, oh, Liza poor gal, she got on the train. Poor Liza Jane was thirsty, she grabbed a paper cup. But when the train got bumpy, the cup took Liza up. Oh, oh Liza poor gal, oh, Liza Jane. Oh, Liza poor gal, she got on the train. Oh, Liza poor gal. Chambers Brothers, Jackie and Roy, on the second half of the Smothers Comedy Brothers Hour. Ladies and gentlemen, chamber music was the kind of music performed during the Broke era by a small family group of musicians playing in a small room or chamber. You are explicitly right, Richard. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. My brother and my feel, myself feel that our show should reflect a sample of all kinds of music. 
That's right. So we got together and we got a small chamber group of brothers who are who, who are almost baroque. <laughs> <laughs> These brothers have just received their first gold album, and we know how they feel. They're probably very excited about it. It's their album, The Time Has Come. It's a real thrill to get a gold album. I remember right. when we got one once. Yeah, I, 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 uh, it's plastic. Yeah. I found out. So, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. <laughs> here they are with their new release. Are you ready, people? The Chamber Brothers. That's right, and it's really great. It's groovy to see some people put as much energy in their singing as we do. As, as they do. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. You ought to have that mustache ripped <laughs> out of your mouth. <laughs> Isn't life beautiful? Isn't life gay? Isn't life perfect? Wait a second. Wait a second. What's the you know something? No. I just, um, I just was looking as I was singing the song in my, out of the corner of my eye. This is a song of life, and my, yeah. my third eye of all saying truth just whipped around in my head like that, and I noticed while we were singing the song of life that you look a little sick. Oh, no, no, come on, Tony. No, you're, you're imagining it. I feel You really great. don't, I, well, I really you don't look well. Let me doing? check. <laughs> what do you, you uh -huh. uh-huh. Just as I suspected, you've got it. Got what? Receding hairline. Oh, now, stop that. That's ridiculous. That's really ridiculous. Now, cough. 
Oh, your glands are okay. Well, thank you very but much. But I think that you better strip down to your underwear. Now, right. wait a minute, Tommy. I can't do that. How long have you been unable to do that? <laughs> I never could do that. I wish you, know, you would have come to me sooner. We could have straightened out this problem. Oh, thank you very much. Dr. Dr. Terrible. Smith. You know, it's something about being a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but I know a lot about medicine, and I know that to be a doctor is a beautiful thing, because mm -hmm. doctors know a lot of things and about making... a lot of great men have been doctors. Th a lot of great men. A lot men. of the greatest men in, in history, like yeah. uh, Louis Pasteur. Dr. Pasteur, Pasteur, and there's been Dr. Schweitzer. Dr. Salk. Dr. Salk. Mm. Dr. Lots, Pepper. Lots. <laughs> <laughs> that figures you'd say something stupid like that, but I'd take offense to that, Tommy. You shouldn't speak lightly of doctors. They dedicate their whole lives to medicine. It takes a long time to become a doctor. It doesn't take so long to be Listen, a doctor. Listen, it does too it, take... You, you, you know, it, it takes a... You have to do about 22 years to be a doctor. You... you... Maybe some slower guys, but most of the... <laughs> I know some guys that don't have to do Tommy, 22 they all years. Do they have to do about 22 years to be a doctor. I know a doctor who didn't. Who? Dr. Spock. What do you mean? He only has to do about four years, and he may get out of that. <laughs> oh, God. Now, that's enough. Let's go on with the show and go on with our bit. But I yeah. want you to apologize to the doctors, Tommy. It's a very noble calling to become a, a doctor. No, doctors like deal with hours. life, and they, they deal, do. With, they they deal with love and life. And, that's right. And I, I don't want to say anything, but doctors have to subject themselves they have to subject themselves all the time mm -hmm. to sick people, and they have a occup a lot of doctors have an occupational disease. It's very serious. They have a, uh, it's a spinal. It's kind of a. What? Can you see this? <laughs> it's kind That's of a, all they could see. It's a spinal thing like that, right what in the mean, back. What the disease is this? You don't know anything about medicine. I didn't say I did. What do you mean? Some doctors have this disease. Now, it's it? hard to explain it if you don't know about medicine. It's a spinal thing. Spinal. That, like well, where this. do they get it? Well, see, they they have to be around sick people. Sometimes yeah. they. This thing right in the back. Sometimes they they get this thing from being in, and from people in the ambulances and at the pharmacy and pharmacy. some people at the hospital. It's right here, right in the back. They get well, it from a lot terrible. of people. Well, yeah. That's terrible. What's it called? Uh, kickback. <laughs> Isn't life beautiful? Isn't life gay? Isn't life the perfect thing? Pass the time away. We'll be right back. Be right back. Times may be changing in lots of places, but not in my town. And I've been around. Where have I been? I've been living a life of high adventure in some of the darkest and most dangerous areas of our country in the world. New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Detroit. It's good to be back in civilization again. Well, sir, after 30 years, I see that Main Street is still the same place. Polish town is still across the tracks. Mrs. Grabowski's twins must be all grown up by now. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, my friends and I would go to Polish town just for a joke. We'd get about 20 or 25 Polish jokes, and then go home. <laughs> wonderful place, wonderful people. It's comforting to see everything is just as it should be. Now there's the Methodist church. You can recognize it by its gold spire. And over here is the Catholic Church. You can recognize it by its graceful Gothic towers. And there's my church. You can recognize it by the lack of attendance. <laughs> well, it's nice to be back in God's country. Ah, there's Hanson's Barbershop. I wonder if they still charge the same amount in these days. Uh, these kids today, they make me sick getting so as you can't tell a boy from a girl. I remember when I was a kid, got a haircut every two weeks. Still keep it pretty short. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the army gets some. I'll take care of them commie, pinko, long hair, peace, nick, preverts. <laughs> now don't get me wrong. I ain't prejudiced against those long-haired freaks. They just ruined my business, that's all. 
I remember the good old days when a kid used to come in here every two weeks and get a crew cut. My town sure has changed. It's those long-haired creeps what ruined it with their phony language and their phony looks. Well, there you are. That'll be two and a quarter. Well, here's two and a half. Keep the change. Peace. <laughs> what a haircut used to cost. Well, there's someone there I remember. Miss Mayhew. Miss Abigail Mayhew. She taught me in high school. I guess I'll never forget her. Oh, Miss Mayhew. Yes? You probably don't remember me. I, I went to school here. Oh, yes. You used to sit in that back row and daydream all the time, didn't you? <laughs> you remember me. <laughs> No, I reckon they all did that at one time or another. <laughs> well, it's the middle of the day and you're not in school. Have you retired after all these years? Oh, gracious, no. It's that senior class. You know, they want to choose all their own teachers. They want to choose their own student government. And you know, they object to censorship of the high school newspaper. I'm telling you, you know what they've gone and done. They've locked themselves in that principal's office, and they're in there rioting. Oh, my goodness, why in the world would they do that? Oh, I don't know. I reckon they're preparing for college. <laughs> you know, they're basically good kids. I sure hope the National Guard can straighten them out. <laughs> Student government? Censorship? When I was at school, our biggest problem was how to pay for a soda at the drugstore. <laughs> George, I'm in a hurry. Uh, oh, yes. Do you have my cough medicine? Yes, Miss Furbo, here no, it is. No, no, not that one. I want the one with the codeine oh, in yes, it. Oh, yes, ma'am, the codeine. Yes. Here you are. Oh, yes, Fresh bottle, right. the codeine. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yes, and I need my sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here they are, Miss Thank Furbo. you, there and you my diet pills, you diet. know, the ones that uh, kept you up. That's diet pills, here they are. These are oh, the yes, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yes. also, I'll need my tranquilizers. Tranquilizers. It's going to be a very difficult day for me today, mm -hmm. you know. You are, I've got you. jury duty. Oh, you do? Yes, and mm -hmm. I want to see that that Harris boy gets what he deserves. Well, what's he up for? Drugs. <laughs> Look at there. There's the old Broadwalk dance hall. I remember years ago when I won the waltz contest three years in a row there. <laughs> I bet I could still show them a thing or two. <laughs> done to the waltz? What have they done to the town? Has everything changed? Isn't there anything sacred? But Charles, we're discussing traditional values that have been in the church for hundreds of years. What? What? Ceremony? Uh, teen club? Auctions? Bingo? Raffles? Now, Charles, let's not bring religion into this. I'm sorry. I, I have no place in that kind of church work. My place is in the street. If the people won't come to the church, the church has got to go to the people. Don't you understand? Charles, let's continue this discussion tomorrow. I have a very important golf date. Excuse me, Reverend. Is, is, uh, is all your work uh, done in the streets now? Oh, oh, no. Sometimes the work inside the church can be very rewarding and satisfying. Mm -hmm. This morning, in fact, I united that young couple over there in holy matrimony. It's uh, Dick McLean's son. Oh, Dick McLean's son? Yeah. He's a bright kid. Good boy comes from a real good family. <laughs> well, they sure look like they're in love. Now there's something that doesn't change. As long as people love each other and as long as there's love in the world, there's hope for all of us. Is there anyone who hasn't changed? What about Fred Hansen? 
Oh, he hasn't changed. Well, <laughs> he's dead. Oh, and Ed Wilkie. He hasn't changed either. So, so he's dead too? No, but he might as well be. You see, he's never changed. Come gather round, people, wherever you roam. I admit that the waters around me have grown. I accept it that soon I'll be drenched to the bone. If my time to me is worth saving, then I'd better start swimming or I'll sink like a stone. For the times, they are a change. Come, senators and congressmen, please heed the call. Don't stand in the doorway. Don't block up the hall. For he that gets hurt will be he who has stalled. There's a battle outside and it's raging. It'll soon shake your window and rattle your wall. For the time they are. Come mothers and fathers throughout the land And don't, don't criticize what you can't understand Your sons and your daughters are beyond Please get out of the new one If you can't lend your hand For the times they are a change Please get out of the new one If you can't lend your hand For the times French, Jackie, and Roy, and the Chambers Brothers for a job well done. <laughs> it's a tough time. If you'd like to say who's going to be on the show next week, we'll have David Fry, Hedge and Donna, and Liberace. So, so good night. Good we'll night. see you next week. Appearing tonight were Jessica Meyerson, Bob Einstein, Jerry Music, Steve Martin, Carl Gottlieb, and Murray Rowland. This is Roger Carroll.